Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is MonPJC and in today's episode I'm going to give you a little tour of what I've been doing and then show you my brand new iron farm that I've been building. Um, so the iron farm came about because as per normal in Minecraft when you're very early game on you end up doing a lot of resource gathering, collecting wood, um, collecting iron, uh, trying to find coal as well. Coal's real pain to find, I find at the moment, because especially it's a lot higher up now in the world in 1.19.3. Um, and a lot of the time, also finding stuff is a, a difficult environment to work in. So here I, I was uh, wandering around the sea. I've got a massive ocean around where I am. And I came across this little area here, and I thought, oh, this would be cool. There'll be some chests. I can find some stuff. Yeah, there's a few drowned around, but that's not really too big of a problem. Um, what I completely forgot about was, you know, some of the mobs are a bit protective of some of the stuff that's around, aren't they? And that makes a collections quite difficult. So here we got a drowned with a trident. Yeah, I didn't see him down there at all. There I go, plodding around, doing my own little thing, and this guy starts firing at me. I'm like, what the heck's going on? Ow! It's like, shot me in the butt. I can't believe it. He hit me straight in the butt. So I was like, yeah, do you know what? I'm not having any of this. I'm not even going to pick a fight. And then he hit me again, as you can see. I thought, do you know what? I'm not having any of this. I'm getting in a boat, in my boat and off. So it's like, that. that's it. I'm off. I'm going to go do something else. I can't believe this. Um, so it's like, it's really difficult finding resources. Then I come across the village. And that's what gave me the idea to build an iron farm. Because obviously, what you really, 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 really want is an iron farm. And um, I just want to point out, while I was here in the village, I have no idea what happened to their brewing stand. I didn't see what happened to it. I don't know where it went. OK, just in case anyone's asking. But while I was here at the iron farm, at, at the iron farm, the village, got iron farm on the brain. While I was here, I thought what I need is some villagers captured away that I can collect up and breed. Um, which is quite easy now compared to how it used to be many, many, many years and moons ago. So I decided I need to collect some villagers. So I went back to this village when it was dark. And the reason I did that is because when you arrive at the village, you can sleep. And then you sort of got loads of time to catch a villager because they're not the easiest things to coax into where you want them to go, are they? No, not really. Um, so I remembered my boat eventually. And I decided to go into this little village and have a look around and see what I can find. I was quite fortunate this was right next to the sea. Easy access to my base. Not always the case for everyone. So there was this guy walking down the street. And I come up behind him and I plop my boat down on the side there. And he just leapt in. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what, what, what chances are there of that? So no hesitation. Look left, right, in the boat, off I went. Quick tip. When you get back to a shoreland or you want to get a villager up in a boat, put a piston underneath and just like row them over the top, hit the piston and then float them back up again. So anyway, I did that and I got him back to my little, well, it's a prison basically for villagers, isn't it? That's what we all end up doing. And just blocked him in, broke his boat, made sure I didn't hit him. I was very good at that. Um, even though I'm going to now capture him away. Um, I opened the door. Well, knocked it down. And um, he gave me two looks and decided, right, I'm going in there. Because there was a bed, after all. So, yeah, that was that done. So, iron farm time. We got the, got the main thing, got the villagers. So, iron farm. Well, the first thing you need to be doing is clearing out a big space. The design I've got, I mean, iron farms have got a lot, lot easier over the time than they used to be. Um, so, you only need three villagers and a nasty zombie uh, to make the villagers scared because um, you know we love villagers why would we not want to scare them so what i did is i started out making this square area base here um, and i'm doing this whole thing out of cobble because i want to show you, you can do this really really early on in the game and this square block at the bottom is basically just going to be for storage for me and a little area i can work in so i put some pillars in and i put slab floor in so we don't get any nasties spawning in there when we don't want to um, and then popped up the top and then put this nice flat floor on, which is really important because, you know, obviously you need a base to build your uh, iron farm on top of. 
So the first part of this that we do is we put down some chests and I put little problems wrong because I'm a bit clumsy and do fall off sometimes. I want eight hoppers because this is going to be the bottom of the killing chamber for our iron golems. Oh yeah, did I mention we were going to kill them? Oh yeah, we are. Um, cover that with slabs because then the items get picked up really easily. And then what you want to do is build a chamber around the outside of that. I was building some other posts as well. You'll see what that's for in a minute. I build this about three high because iron golems are quite tall. And then you want to put some wooden signs around the outside, make sure they're non-flammable. And then if you build another layer just around the top of that, you can plonk your la plonk, put your lava in the top there in a little two by four area that I've got. I then got this area here that I've built out and extended. And this is going to be a conveyor belt, which I'm going to put water on, which will con convey our being a conveyor belt, convey our iron golems into the lava. It makes it just easier to collect them up. So after that, I mean, I did actually put a perimeter wall and some blocks in, make sure the iron golems can't hop out the side or spawn on the top. So use half slabs wherever you can. Right, zombie chamber. Three by three area, hole in the middle, piston in the bottom, doesn't need to be sticky. And then what you can do is you can get your zombie on the top of this and have a switch underneath and you can pop him up and down. Because what we're going to do is we're going to pop him into sight of the villagers, which will scare them. Um, so once that's done, we're going to build a little area um, I'm going to put three beds down, so build an area big enough to get your villagers into. And a little holding chamber there for our zombie and a block at the front. Um, important for the, for the villagers, put down some crafting benches for them. I've put in there some uh, composters, so we get farmers. And I've put trapdoors so they can't get out. Then directly above them, put the area where you're going to be spawning your zombies. And here what you do is you then fill both of those areas so the water flows across the top, drops them down into this conveyor belt and then into the lava. You'll see that happen in a minute. And then I just closed off this little area where the uh, zombies were going to go with some glass so I could see from further away what was actually going on. Right, with the magic of editing, we whip forward and we've now got a zombie in place and three villagers. I'm not going to tell you how many hours it took me to get them in there, but you know how to do that. It's a good idea to keep your zombie low down. As you can see, he's not scaring the villagers to start with. Oh, now he is. While they get to trade and sleep. If anything ever goes wrong, you can reset it. Pop the zombie up, as you saw. And as you can see, within a few seconds, uh, there's number two. Iron Golem pops up, drops along and falls in. Now, even though this is cobble, I turn the shaders on. And you can still, it still, still looks all right. It's not bad, is it? It's not horrendous looking. I mean, it could improve. So... That's, that's the basis of what your farm's going to do, and it's going to produce loads. I mean, uh, well, how, long, how often do they come out? The, I mean, uh, iron golem drops what? Uh, two or three uh, iron bars a time, and that's about every three to five minutes, I think. So, I mean, for a single player, this is perfect, and you'll certainly get more iron than you really need. I then went ahead and used a load of deep slate and turned it into um, sort of this black deep slate. And I put a trim in because I thought it looks quite nice. The grey with the iron and using the black to sort of trim the edges and bits and pieces there. Um, be careful that you don't obviously do this. Uh, do it at the beginning if you want or do it at the end, whenever. I did it at the end and ended up getting myself on fire, uh, turning my uh, lava into obsidian. But yeah, that's a silly thing to do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was very, very quick. I just wanted to give you a quick show and tell of how I did this. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.